is at the Skyler camp. About to head out, Catalina, finishing up, getting ready. Uh, how are we feeling? I am pretty good. I have like butterflies. Not anxious, just some butterflies. I'm a little nervous because that went way too well. And per my history of doing things for the first time, that's not how that should have went. So maybe I'll get mine down the road. But for now, it went up perfectly. That sail is a code zero sail so that we can go in lighter winds, uh, downwind and a little bit tighter to the wind. But we should be able to sail really good in light winds, which is what we're gonna have on this trip. Pulling out. Lines are off. Woo! Ready or not. What will be our journey? Is the captain ready for a report? Here we go. How do you feel, captain? Good, I'm excited. What's the beeping? <laughs> this, uh, I preset our route, so now we're following the GPS route and we'll see if we'll get on track, but really we won't be following until we get out past the point. All right. We hoisted the sails and we set out of our harbor. Luckily, the sunset was beautiful as we had a ton of built up anticipation and anxiety about such a long journey for our first time doing it. All right, sun's about to set and we are motor sailing, but I've got both sails up and we got a pretty good uh, beam wind on our port side here. And so we're cruising along about five knots right now. The wind's gonna be a little light at night, but it's really nice to have the sails up as well as the motor on so that we can just get straight there and not be out here for days on end, but have a nice 15, 16 hour sail to get to Catalina. She's so excited. Hi, hi, hi. Going to Catalina. Well, it's about to get dark and I'm just watching the sunset and we got the autopilot going, so we're on course. It's kind of surreal to take our own boat to be doing this uh, to have the confidence building to do this it's just it feels really cool I wish we didn't have the engine on uh, there's just not much wind right now so just enjoying it really I didn't get any filming tonight because it was pretty dark but it was quite the journey for me I did the whole night solo as Geneva took care of Skylar overnight. I was battling cruise ships at 3 a.m., watching the stars and even dolphins bioluminescing on the bow. It was an amazing challenge for myself personally, but as you can tell here, I was pretty out of it as I only got 10 minutes of sleep at a time. This is pretty much what it looks like when everyone's been at sea for 16 hours. Geneva got to enjoy sunrise on the bow before Skylar woke up. I was really sad that she didn't get to see the dolphins, but it was 3 a.m. and they were sleeping so well that I didn't want to wake them. But she was so excited when she saw that we were over deep water that was so blue and beautiful. We came up on Avalon about 13 hours into the trip and Skylar was still sleeping, which was great. But once she woke up, we all just got to enjoy motoring and sailing along the coastline of Catalina, which is so beautiful. And the water was super calm in the morning. We completed the journey and we were so proud of ourselves to finally be in Cherry Cove and have the boat all tied up. Yeah, girl, here we go. We spent the week exploring Catalina, hiking and snorkeling pretty much every day. Here is a glimpse of what this whole week looked like. For another day of exploring the island, I think we're gonna go for a walk. Do you think, do you wanna go snorkeling? <laughs> or do you wanna go for a walk? You wanna go for a walk? Oop. Hiking. Here we go. We'll hike this ridge line out and around.
Will we make it to the top before Skylar combusts? We shall see. Hey, Skylar, look at the, oh, oh no, where'd she go? Uh, well, she made it about 30 minutes in the carrier. Huh, we're almost to our cove where we can see our boat. Yeah, you gave up on the carrier. But what can you ask for from a six month old, huh? Yeah, thank you. Thanks. Just pulling on my cheek. Pulling on my cheek. <laughs> the trek back and have second breakfast. Anybody else eat second breakfast? <laughs> Will we make it? Most days, once the sun came out, it was time to go snorkeling. This place is so beautiful underwater, and there's a lot to see. Our days were pretty much spent watching the sunrise in the morning, hopping on the computer for a few hours as we finish up work for the day as we work remote, and that way we can enjoy the rest of sunrise, the beautiful views from the boat, and decide what we wanted to do for the day. Most of the time, it was enjoy the beautiful blue water, look up some nearby places that we can explore with the dinghy, and pretty much because Skye need a nap, so she loves falling asleep while we go fast. How clear is the water? Evenings were spent just taking it slow. We had such a fun day and we're pretty much exhausted at this point. So we just sat on the bow and took in the views. Most nights was a full moon and we just really enjoyed a lot of family time and cherished these moments that we can bring our six month old baby on such a wonderful trip. We did it, that's it. Did about five days or so here in Catalina in two harbors and we spent most time here in Cherry Cove, but we had a lot of fun bringing a six month old along on the trip, which wasn't an easy task, but I think she really enjoyed herself and we had a lot of time showing her the island and just this lifestyle, so. We're headed home to Catalina and man, we were so bummed to leave. Uh, I was nervous doing our first crossing, but it was just really neat to see what our boat can do and to just kind of give in to the ocean and the wind and and it was really cool to realize that we were in our home and we were home and we just got to take it somewhere else and so when I was like oh yeah we're headed home I was like no we are home <laughs> just, it was just a really neat thing so how you doing Skylar what do you think of the trip what's your reflection too easy you all fine yeah. yeah, what were your new tricks you learned? Um, nom, nom, nom. Thanks for following along on this journey of ours. We are really, really proud of being able to accomplish this trip. It's hard to explain, but it really opens up a lot more freedom as we build this confidence. We hope you enjoy our videos, and we hope that you subscribe or like and stick around for a lot more to come in the future.